<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck. We play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe. Joining me today, special guest, a bootleg Drew. Hey, what's up, people? And he's joining me today to play Big Machines. Oh. Yes, we're playing Infinitrax, the new archetype. Not out in America yet, but should be out sometime next month. And we're doing an Infinitrack tool bag, which is like a toolbox, but with fundamental differences. Probably not the most consistent build, but it should give you a great idea of what Infinitrack is capable of. So if you want to build the deck yourself, you know all the sorts of plays they can make. Now, if you just want a deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate, shorter video. There, I'll just be going over everything in here, explaining how it works. Otherwise, in this video, it's 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you how it works, and hopefully... We'll have a little fun. Oh, that's what he wanted me to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> Big honkin' Tonka Tough sounds like, you know, like a really, really, really bad C-list wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> Your old nemesis. My nemesis. <laughs> Here we are, the first duel versus player. And I must say, I really, I really like the way these sleeves turned out. Like just blown up like that, just makes it. Oh, great! He surrendered. He already knew. He saw the sleeves, and he was afraid. Wow. Yeah. That, that let, seems weird. Let's let's find a real first duel. Yeah, let's find a real first duel. <laughs> All right. Here we are. Real first <laughs> duel versus Pito Man. Pito Man. Pito Man. What, do you know what Pido means? No, but I think Pido Man is the way you say it. Pido oh, okay. Man just sounds sad gross. and gross. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds pitiful. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Have fun. Thanks, you too. Oh, that's so nice. The, what sportsmanship? Also, how you pronounce... Oops. Pronounce your name. I'm curious. <laughs> so yeah, you want to go second with this deck because right. you want to see what they have. He doesn't have very much. Fortunately... We're pretty good here. So we're going to start off, we've got one of our normal summon monsters. There's two kinds of infinite tracks. The small level ones, when you summoned, you'll search a big man. A big, big man. A big honk and tonka man. Yeah, and we're going to go for this so we have a backup play. Okay. And then the level fives, you can summon by tributing an earth machine. So right. we need to get another earth machine on the graveyard. Or on the field. This says if you control an earth machine, you can special summon it. It's big, it's strong, it can't attack, though, unless uh, you send two cards you control to the graveyard. Right. So it's pretty much just useless, except for the fact that we're going to be, like, tributing it to get this out. So then, the thing that makes them unique, you can... Uh, oh, wait, actually... What am I going to do? Yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to tribute this one and get a second one out. Because... This can banish a card from the graveyard, and we're going to pick this one to get us this. Oh, this feels cool. Outrigger well. Expanded. It's not oh, a field no. card. Oh, it's, it's a continuous. A... Oh, cool. It says they can't target our machine Ixies, which is what we make. This is oh, an okay. Deck. So this guy is like, target a card. Both of them become equal to their combined levels. So five plus two is seven. Oh, so Pito is I'm... like a dick. <laughs> oh, so yep. So yeah, so now I can make a, a rank seven. Huzzah. That guy, he's pretty neat. This thing, in addition to protecting it, also says, Summon an Ixie <coughs> two ranks higher. Oh. So oh, I can that's go all. from that on to... Um, I could make Earthshaker, he's on the sleeves, but let's go with Phantom Fortress Enthablathnir. Dickman in Spanish, oh. My name is Dickman in Spanish. You, you know. know. Neat. Neat. <laughs> My name is not Spanish. <laughs> I'm glad that we cleared that up. Just so you know. <laughs> but yeah, this guy is neat because uh, he has non-targeting removal. You can detach. Yeah. Um, let's do that one. Just banish one card your opponent controls. Just flat out, get rid Just of it. Just gone. Which is good because that can't be destroyed by battle. So we, <laughs> we did a good thing. We did a good thing. And then we'll attack for 2,900. Oh, he's, he's oh. thinking of something. Oh! Octo Stretch. <laughs> Discard, he takes half damage. Oh, that's nice. It's very weird. I think he's playing some sort of Dark Warrior thing. I might have underestimated him. Um, but we'll see. I could put this out on the board. I'm going to assume he can't OTK us. Well, let's see what Dickman does. Yeah, Mr. Dickman. 
It reminds me of the the Nut Shack. Uh, you ever you ever seen? No, the I've not seen that. Oh, well, you're probably for the best then. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, you we're just, good. You did another thing. Gotcha. So okay, Machine of Fortress old card discard mm. itself and any other machine to summon itself. Hey, what's up? How's it going? They call me Dick Man. Um, this thing I can just normal summon. It lets you special summon a uh, machine from your hand when it's summoned. So it can be used to get the big level fives. Right. This when it's summoned lets you get a machine from the uh, the graveyard. Um, in defense mode. I can't make anything because this is still here, but that's right. fine. We're just going to attack for a lot after we banish this again. <laughs> Sorry, Dick Man. You're just uh, he is not having a good time. Yeah. And I think that's game. I think he could not like <laughs> I had all these combos ready for if he got rid of that, I could have made like a whole big full field and stuff, but I'm instead gonna... I just put stuff on the field. Well, I'm going to mark that down as a big old W. Just mark it down with a mark it down with a dick. Just draw a little dick on there. It will be fine. No one will see it. We we keep track of score on paper, but there's one win. You saw kind of what they did. Kind of. I mean, they did it. I don't know what this guy was playing. A bunch of weak warriors. Any deck that just set past, not yeah. doing very good in 2019, the year no. of our lord. But uh, we'll see. <laughs> maybe, we, maybe we can get a better duel in the second duel. <laughs> All right. Here we are, second duel. This one brought to you by Patreon sponsor Brian Bruns. Good old dust leg. The dustiest of legs. Longtime patron. Thanks to him. Uh, we're going up against same. Hopefully it's not the same deck we just played. Uh, uh <laughs> boo. Uh, boo, yeah. Very boo. Um, we have a, anytime you start with this guy, you're good, because okay. he searches the big guys. Right. The big thing is, like, you can't do anything unless you have a way to get another Earth machine out on the field. Well, fortunately, we have our big honking train again. So we're pretty solid. We're pretty solid. We've also we got, got this. This, oh. uh, this shuts down graveyard stuff. Oh, interesting. It, it's like banish a monster from the graveyard and then like negate its effects and the effects of all monsters with its name until next turn. Which it looks like he's doing cyber dragon stuff. Which cyber dragons, I mean I can this might help me next turn if I can survive. Right. But can he OTK you? No, not on the first turn because okay. he can't attack. Uh but cyber dragon Cyber Dragons were traditionally, like, the OTK deck. Okay. If someone was playing Cyber Dragons, it was like, Fusion summon the big machines and attack. But, uh, like, a couple years ago, they got Cyber Dragon Infinity. that mm -hmm. has, like, a control aspect it can negate. Ah. And now they've got, like, a link, and they've got a trap that all helps them control stuff. So now they're pretty... Balanced? Pretty balanced going first or second. Ah, gotcha. You can actually make two different versions of them. He did not do either. <laughs> he, oh, hey, someone touched my Rygek. Um, let's see. So, normal summon this. Hello. Hello, darkness, my, my old friend. friend. All right, um, anyway, what are we... What Cancer are, Crane. Cancer Crane. Not its official name. <laughs> not, probably not its probably official not. name. Probably not. Yeah. Activate. The Cancer Crane. Bullet though. Train. He's harvesting that cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Activate. If he had a bigger board, if I could actually, with those two, yeah. I could make them both level uh, 12 and, and then get do... out. Oh, yeah. And then I could get out this guy, okay. number 77, the Seven Sins. Oh. As it stands, I cannot do that. Um, Let me see. I think I'm just going to hit him for a lot. So let's banish this. If I keep that in the graveyard, it actually lets me get a machine back to my hand at the end of the turn. Okay. But he Where? will not now. That's why it's good to have Toy Knight. You'll see him in here. Um, let's go ahead. Number seven. Bang. Then we'll activate this. And this time we're going to go all the way up to Big Earthshaker. I'm a heartbreaker. So, Earthshaker. <laughs> so you can detach uh, as many as you have, up right. to three, and destroy that many cards. So we need so, two. Yeah, we'll just detach two. If I detach three, I would have to destroy one of my cards, right. and I don't want to do that. Right. And then in addition to that, he has this effect where if he destroys something by battle, it attaches to him. Right. So if they, even if they had, like, four cards, you could destroy three of them and then eat the other one. Right. It, it's, it's kind of what makes them like a, a minor in that sense. Mm -hmm. 
like the excavation equipment. Right. Sort of like, yes, I will dig up your materials and absorb them into my own. <laughs> um, and also, I'm just going to go ahead and start out by getting this out of his graveyard. Because that, he can banish it from his graveyard to summon Cyber Dragon from the deck. Oof. And I don't want that. No, Cyber Dragon I'm not Dragon about that life. Scary. Yeah. Cyber Repair Plant. I think that searches it anyway, but at least he yeah. won't get two. And I can do other stuff as well. Although, yeah, this now that I'm thinking about this, this may be a mismatch. Oh, yeah. Cyber Dragons, famously, they have a fusion monster that can fusion with your opponent's side of the field. Oh. Yeah. Awkward. Uh, specifically if they're machines, and these oh. are definitely... These are all machines. Yeah, these are definitely not warriors. They're definitely not spellcasters. I know what it looks like, but they're not beast warriors. Okay. <laughs> no thunder type. Um... I'm hmm. just gonna go back to that. I can at least be yeah. happy. I like the, the, the infinity sort of, like, symbol yeah, they've got going nice. on there. They've all got that sort of logo on them. Oh, cool. Somewhere. Right. That one is a little harder to see. Yeah, they kind of low low quality yeah. versions. But then it's one of those weird like sort of lore things they do in the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that mm -hmm. doesn't really get mentioned all that much. Oh, give me one moment. Oh, okay. Sorry. Drew will be back. Meanwhile, he's trying to activate stuff that has been negated forever. Yep. It's all good. What we're we're we're, oh, we're back. Your thing like yeah, he, thought... he fusioned like I thought he was going to. Oof. Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon. That's Oof. not that bad. Um, I mean, I'm taking some damage. My guy's gone, but I have a follow up play. Okay. In the form of the the train. It's weird. The trains are all Earth machines too. Right. So, train support is is sort of like this. Uh, it sort of works as a uh, Infinitrack support. So this guy. Normal summon. When it's summoned, you can summon an Earth Machine from the graveyard, but its effects are negated. So we're just going to go for the Cancer Crane again. Bada bingo, bada Django Unchained. Um, Django Unchained. Then it, Django. Can, it, it can target a monster, and they both become that level. Oh, okay. So they both become level 5. Oh, nice. So you can see how, like, if you were playing level 10s, being able to get a 10 out, they're both 10s. Right. But it works with this just as well. And we've got a couple level fives. One lets us search stuff, but that's not really going to help us all that much. The other one, if we're going to be dicks, we might as well oh, be me. dicks. Let's make Cyber Dragons against the Cyber Dragon player. <laughs> like, ha! I have <laughs> stolen your boss monster! And now I will eat this up. Om nom nom nom. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, everything here absorbs stuff as ICSI material. Yeah. That's just how they work. 800... Now, of course, if he has another Cyber Dragon and another Mega Fleet, he could do that again, and then I won't have as much recourse to uh, to <laughs> respond. <laughs> but hopefully he just plays the one, or hopefully he's out of Cyber Dragons, maybe. I don't know. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Fuck, man, shit. You have another Mega Fleet? I would appreciate it if you didn't have a Mega... Damn it. He has a Mega Fleet. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, and see the thing is like because that's a a mm. a uh, summon. Yeah. You can't. I can't like negate it. It ah. doesn't activate. It's just like that's its condition. Yeah. Well. I think that's game. I think that's game. Sadly, Oof. unfortunately. Like yeah, well I can banish your cyber dragon. What do you think about that? If only it said it couldn't attack as well. Yeah. Does it? Did I know he can attack? <laughs> I was like, wait, does it? I was like, have I been reading it wrong all this time? <laughs> no. So uh, yeah, sadly we lose that one, but that's it, one of those sad things. It's like, we make these big monsters with high attack that can't be targeted, um, and there's ways to make them undestructible too, but we can't beat Mega Fleet, and we don't swarm enough to make a whole bunch of shit. Right. So, a little bit of match, but that's fine. We'll go ahead into the third duel. At least I still made stuff. Yeah. I've been playing a lot of Fire Emblem lately again. Ah. Yeah, I've been revisiting I didn't know my own. you were a fiery emblem -y guy. Yeah, I, oh, I'm a huge Fire Emblem fan. I'm not as, I wasn't as dorky about it as I am now. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Impatient. Probably In didn't want to face him anyway. Probably didn't want to face him. He probably would have just 
You would have just. I would have played two cards. Yeah. He would have surrendered. He'd be like, yeah. "I don't have time for this." Yeah. <laughs> Go wait in another line. <laughs> Jeez, guy. People there these days, they just want their Instagrams and their Facebooks and their. <laughs> they want to. Their Hobby Lobbies. They want to, yeah. <laughs> They want to Twitter about Hobby Lobby all day, and they don't want to actually do any crafting. <laughs> that was some weak jokes right there. Classic jokes. <laughs> Joe, don't include any of this. <laughs> oh. Goblin Slayer. Oh, that's an anime. He's a Goblin Slayer. He's a guitar player yeah. <laughs> with a nasty habit. Kill the wabbit. That's it's, amazing. That's, old... <laughs> that's beautiful. I remember I... that Bugs Bunny cartoon. <laughs> Uh, oh. oh, he's playing Rituals. Neat. Oh, Necros even. Yeah, they, they released this new archetype called Incantations. Okay. Where it's like... Uh, what was it? Yeah, it's reveal a ritual spell. Summon this guy from the deck. And then this guy gets you a ritual monster. Huh. And then if you have this guy in your hand with a monster, you can reveal him, summon this, and get the spell. Oh, cool. So it just supports, like, all rituals all the time. So he's doing Necros stuff? Yeah. It's like you can play incantations just on their own, but mm. people mostly play them with with Necros, which used to be like the best deck two years ago, but it got it got beaten into the submission. Oof. And Cyber Angels too. Mm. So what does this do? Um. Oh, what did he just do? He got rid of some things. Yeah, they they search a whole bunch. No, okay. I'm not paying attention. I'm just trying to figure it out. Uh, negate the effects of all monsters special summoned from the extra deck. A little oofy. Uh, that's a big oof. That's a Are big you oof. Me? I'm I'm all I'm all about the extra deck. Fortunately, that's why I play this thing. Yeah. Twenty five hundred more than twenty three hundred. What does this do? <laughs> um, I usually I think this is a big searcher. Oh no! Don't you summon that? Don't you dare summon? Okay, he doesn't have the the re no. Fuck. He has a battle angel. Yeah. Um. Neither player can special summon monsters. <laughs> fucking Christian. Fuck, fucking. What is this bull? It just locked us it's down. Just, yeah, in order to summon this, you need four fairies exactly in the mm. graveyard. But these are. Oh no, he just tribute summoned it. Yeah. Well, fuck you too. Um. Toy Knight. Defend my pride. <laughs> Set. Not gonna give up yet. If I can draw my Raigeki or my Dark Hole, I might be able to pull this out. But if not, I just got I just got first turn locked down by bullshit. Um No, you're not doing any more. Stop it. I don't care what that is. It's banished, it's negated. <laughs> I don't negate things very often. I assumed it would happen to me. That's why the negation is chainsaw getting his thing broken. What? <laughs> I'm not sure if you saw yeah, that. Yeah, no, I saw that. I was just, I was doing like the, <gasps> yeah, just the gasp. Yeah, the great it's gasp. Pretty bad. The great gasp. <laughs> yeah. uh, I feel like a bunch of hurts Two, coming our four, way. Four, six. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. It's not that much damage. It is. It's almost <laughs> all of it. I've just got to hope. I, I'm just gonna pr please, Phil Swift, if you're out there. <laughs> Phil Swift. Flex tape that that Raigeki to the top of my deck so I can just. Oh boy! I can get out of oh this. Oh boy, we're at twelve. I can maybe do something. Oh no, we're at six. Jeez! Come on, show me Raget. Oh. Oh, that's a thing that special summons. Oh. That's a thing that special summons. That's those. These are all things that special summon. I feel bad. <laughs> this is like watching a man get murdered. I love Mirror Force. <laughs> <laughs> the mind games did not work. I've tried it before. <laughs> it, no, it didn't work. Oh. Yeah. I think I was saying last time, I was like, you know, that, that one duel, I, I don't mind losing as long as I get to do stuff. Yeah. This was the kind of duel, duel I was yeah, talking about. about yeah. They're like, oh. Ooh. And when you just get first turn completely mm -hmm. countered. Yeah, that's well, pretty rough. Let's go to the next duel. Maybe it won't be so Maybe rough. our spirits will pick up then. Yay. <laughs> All right. Here we are. Fourth duel. Fourth, Fourth duel. duel. Uh, brought to you thanks to Patreon sponsor, twitch.tv slash openmaw, which is our own Joe Average, the patron lord himself. He started a Twitch. I believe it's like a podcast. Oh, nice. I forget. He told, told me about it, but uh, I completely forgot because it's been a while, but... 
It, it's Joe Average's podcast. What more do I have to say? Go check it out. Uh, give if nothing else, just be like, thanks for donating so much to Hard Leg Joe's Patreon. Oh, wow. He's the still number one highest donator of all time. That's awesome. He's he's a cool guy. We're playing against uh, weather painters. Oh, they're so adorable. Look at all the little weathery they're little fairies. And yeah. stuff and they're doing... She uses like a little gun. Oh, that's adorable. But he uses a big old crayon, yeah, or yeah. she, I don't know. He's got it's shorts, what, might be. Me. It's hard to say. Anyway. Either way. Yeah, and then the, the thing there, she's like spraying the snow with it. Like, <laughs> I like and that. And then he's like using the pen to draw the clouds. And... Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah, they're, they're, the thing about them is uh, they don't have effects on their own. Their spell traps, though, give them effects, give effects to the monsters that are to the front and on either side of them. Oh. And they get those effects, they're all like, banish it for a turn, and then get some sort of effect. Huh. And then during the next turn, they pump, come back, so they can dodge out of safety, or dodge out of harm's way, and then they play a lot of traps that are like, if you control no monsters, do this ah, thing. Ah, so, so while they're on vacation, you trap the shit out of them, yeah. and they bring them back to pump. They're, they're, they're a long stall control deck. Uh. Uh, fortunately, we got this, which is like the best card in here. Your opponent controls more monsters than you. Special summon two machines, one level four or lower, one level five or higher. So we're going to get this guy, Right, who searches another dude. And uh, the chainsaw dude. We're going to get both of them. Their effects right. are negated. I can't use them for anything. Right. But or, Yeah, I can't use them for anything. Okay, well, while we're here, let's go ahead and just special summon my doodly train. Doodly train? Doodling all over the doodleville. Doodle. Um... And then what we're going to do, we're just going to send these two to the graveyard to get Cliffhort Genius. Oh. Cliffhort Genius. He's just, he's just made with two machines. Nothing particular. But now that they're in the graveyard, I can use my chainsaw to summon this out of the graveyard. Right. And then, hey, because it's summoned, I get to search things. Ah. I get my cancer crane. Get your cancer crane. Get yourself some cran cancer. Get yourself some cancer. Do your thing. Yeah. Um, let's see. Again, we're going to activate. We're going to tribute. I could tribute off that, but now nah, let's let's go for this again. And again, we have nothing else to banish, <laughs> but that's that's fine. We need to get our rank up because the level nine, remember, can destroy yeah. three cards, and that's going to be bad for him unless he can stop it somehow. And so, I think he realized, realized that, that because of. <laughs> so do we count that? As yeah, we count that because okay. I I think I pretty much had game because what would have happened is I would have made the uh, the level seven. Oh, I yeah. would have ranked it into the guy on the sleeves. Yeah, and then you he would have been yeah. like, destroy this, destroy, destroy this, this, destroy this. That, and then you would have just pummeled him. Yeah, and I would have pummeled the hell out. Not only would I have pummeled him, but I would have pummeled him and then like equipped him so he couldn't like recur them out of the graveyard. Oof. And I would have had this too. I might have been able to OTK. It's hard to say. Hard to Either leg. way, yeah, hard to leg as well. Yeah. That also <laughs> memes. That really rustled my jimmies. Uh, right? that, that's my favorite meme from 2008. That, that was 2008. Jeez, that was Probably. a long time ago. Let's go on to duel number five. All right. <laughs> All right, here we are. Duel number five versus Valu <laughs> the Yeah. Yeah, that. I don't know if you want to try to, to say that. Vasusena Enkidu. 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 Uh, hola? Hola? I don't think that's Spanish. It might be. I, I don't know what that is. Bonjour? Oh, that's definitely not <laughs> definitely French. Definitely not French. Yeah. Konichi wa? Ome wa? Hi? Ome wa no Shinderu? <laughs> oh hi! I thought you were a non-English from your name. <laughs> a non-English way to non be <laughs> way to be progressive in your. I speech. was gonna say a foreigner, but it's like, well, if he's not a foreigner, if he's in his home country. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Just because I'm playing from yeah. America doesn't mean he's playing in America. Yeah, exactly. I mean, clearly, I've got a very American name. A big honkin' tonka honk truck. <laughs> Your big honkin' tonka. That's actually so funny thing. Uh, what did he just do anyway? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what is all that? Um, he activated a lure of darkness, which is like draw three or draw two, 
Banish a dark monster. Okay. And if you don't have a dark monster, you discard your hand, and that's what happened to him. Oh. So I can't activate this because he doesn't control more monsters than me. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is use this guy. Yeah. Um, this guy, the rock anchor, he lets you summon a earth machine from your hand. Can you smell what the rock the is rock cooking? The rock is cooking. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Yes. Oh, come on. Um, and then he has the same effect as the other guy. Oh, okay. Like, their combined levels is what they become. The only difference is he's level 4, so they both automatically just right. go to level 9. So I can just, like, go into this... And be like, hey, those spell traps look pretty neat, but it'd be a shame <laughs> if something happened to them. <laughs> Let's just hope you pick the right ones. I mean, either way, I'm not sure what he could activate. It looks like he's playing Eternal, yep, Eternal Soul. Soul. That's Dark Magician stuff. So he gets to add a card to his hand, but it's not going to help him. Dark Magic Attack, you have to destroy a Dark Magician. Yep. And then when that's destroyed, he destroys all monsters on his field, but he doesn't doesn't have any. Right. There you go. Do your thing. Do 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 your thing. And then what I'm gonna do, just because I can, um, right. Just to get more stuff in the grave, because I have something else. So they have a link one. You just any spin track oh. except the link. Oh. You do that. You just point down. And then all the Ixies have this effect that you can send a link to the graveyard and summon them in defense position. So that's how you get the around the fact that you only have the one extra monster. Oh, right? nice. And then this guy's like, if he's sent to the graveyard and you control an Ixie, you can equip it. And if a monster is equipped with this or has yeah has yeah. it attached to it, it can't be destroyed by card effects. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's Neato Burrito. So if, if I had a duel that lasted more than two turns, you can actually do a whole bunch of like activate the effect yeah. or like get the seven. Activate its effect, rank it up into nine, send it away for this, summon the nine back out, use its effect, send it away for that, Jesus. like, shuffle all sorts of shit around. It's just that it never really works out that well. Magician's but... Rod? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's one of those things we all giggled about when we first heard it, but <laughs> you get used to it. Just okay. People just... <laughs> Just guys who like Yugi walking around talking about Magician's Rod all the time. I'm sorry, I'm a yeah, third grader. It, it lets him search this, and this is like, look at the top three cards, add a card that mentions Dark Magician. Right. More importantly, if he summons a Dark Magician, he gets to banish a card on my field. And I'm mm. not about that life. No. Um. So let's see. Two attack. And we're just going to do this. You remember this guy, right? Yeah. yeah. And then you're going to get the thing, and then they're going to like, oh, wait, the, but we're both fives, so you can make a ten. The aptly named Roadheader. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely yeah. not going to be its American name. No. Yeah, so he doesn't have, uh, I could absorb, mm. Yeah, we still got other stuff we can do. The other rank five we have, like, just lets us search a, an earth machine. Right. So we can get us a whole bunch of stuff, but we've already got playmakers in our hand. So it's better to just have negates. Right. And also this can om-nom things, so... Om-nom-nom. We're just gonna om-nom attack for a lot. I think that's game if he doesn't able to defend himself. Yeah. yeah that's definitely game. Too big, too strong. Too he shouldn't have a lord of darkness. I don't know why he was playing, uh... <laughs> Two Tonka Tonka. <laughs> um, that's a Tonka win yeah, right that's there. A dark Magician, obviously mostly right. dark. He's playing Alexandrite Dragon. Ooh. That, I don't know what that is. It's just a big, it's a vanilla beater. Oh, okay. It's like a 2,000 attack point vanilla. Huh. Um, I think there's a fusion with like Dark Magician and any dragon, so maybe uh, he's playing that. But I gotta believe there's a better dragon you can play than just the vanilla beater. Right. It did, didn't work out for him. Either way, what was that, the fifth duel? Yeah. All right, we're going to the halfway thing. Have right. you seen a halfway no, thing? No, what's a halfway thing? Be prepared. Thing? Ready? Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Welcome to the halfway point. Bootleg Drew's still here. Hey, what's up, people? He's existing. Are you enjoying the halfway point so I'm far? I'm enjoying the halfway point so it, far. It's, it's weird, yeah. It smells a little weird. It's got a thing about it. But it's it's nice overall. But yeah, this is just the point where I tell <laughs> people, like, hey, uh, the, the, the channel is funded mostly by Patreon. I do have ads now, but I make like thirty dollars a month, which is not enough to live off. No. Not in America. Maybe if I lived in like I don't know Zimbabwe, maybe thirty dollars <laughs> a month would be more than enough to live off. But maybe. I don't. I live. 
I live in America. So yeah, if you like this, if you like to support the channel, donate to the Patreon. You can get these cool sleeves I made. You can get the uh, the negation, the, the broken chainsaw, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I got music and a Discord. So just wanted to tell you about that. And with that said, let's get back into the duels. I could do a better snap than that. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, did you want to snap yeah, two? One, two? One, two, two three. Damn. All right, all right, one more time. One, two, three. That's uh, a little off, but that's yeah, that's good. One, two, three. One, two. Three. I don't know oh, why we're the, sitting yeah. here snapping. Yeah, this is a waste of time. I'm sorry. <laughs> we could be dueling. <laughs> snapping is fun. Snap is just a rapid tap, snap, snap. <laughs> All right, here we are. Six duel brought to you by Patreon sponsor Slamuel. Slamuel? Yeah, he he slammed that subscribe button. He recently went up. To a hundred dollar patron. Hey. Ooh, hey, very, very nice. Oh no. Last time I saw this, bad things happened. Yeah. I don't want bad things to happen. I don't like bad. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a dude. That's the same I, guy. I, I don't. Th no, it can't. No, I would re I would remember Carlos Blaster. No, no, no. I mean, that's the same kind of deck you were fighting. Oh yeah. Again. I mean, yeah. That but was the same opening play. That's he's different. not playing, yeah, he's not playing Necros stuff. Demise Supreme King of Armageddon, though. Whose name sounds cool, but he's actually pretty lame. Oh, that's So we don't have to worry about that. Oh, God. I tried to make these, they, they were pretty terrible. Supreme Kings? Yeah. Or they're, they're like, Demise, I think, oh. is the archetype. I don't know, it's weird, they're, so there were two old ritual monsters, yeah. like, Lady of Demise and Demise King. Oh, okay. And they could both be summoned by this ritual called End of the World. Ah. Uh. And then recently... Yeah, there's the original one. Uh. Demise King of Armageddon. And then recently they came out with, like, retrains of them, like, stronger versions of uh. them with support that use the old ones. Huh. But they're, like, from before the time of archetypes. So it's just weird. That is weird. Either way. Kill it. I don't like I'm it. I'm gonna kill it with fire. I'm gonna kill it with everything. We're gonna get a Trencher. Trencher. Good old Trencher. We're gonna shuffle this out. And actually, we could do that cool thing I wanted to do. Oh, yeah? So, we're going to activate this, make them both level 12, and then make number 77, the seven sins. Oh. 4,000. Oh. So this guy, hey. this guy gets, he sees a fair amount of play yeah. in trains. Because you can summon him on top of a level 10 monster just for right. fun, as long as it's dark. Wait, not trains, other stuff, but... Right, but anyway... It, its effects are negated normally, mm -hmm. but if you make it like this, you can activate it, which is detach, banish all special summoned monsters, and then choose one to equip to yourself. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. So it's just like, hey, that's pretty neat. If, if, you, get, if you happen to get those two first turn against certain boards, yeah. where they're like, I special summoned five things, and it's like, and now they're all banished. <laughs> and oh, hey, check it out. I'm going to use one of them to beat you with, too. <laughs> I'm going to beat you to death with one of your own monsters. Uh, so you'd hit with the 25, and then you'd go then over four with the 4,000. I mean, either way. Yeah. He's taking uh, 4 plus 25 oh. minus 14. <laughs> but he knew and he was yeah, done, Yeah, he so. knew he was done, so. I'm surprised, I'm surprised he didn't, like, draw his opening hand, see that he was playing the Demise Rituals, and just surrender <laughs> Like, oh yeah, I'm playing, playing this deck. Oh yeah, I'm playing Demise, it's might like as a... well kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> might as well just walk off a cliff, you know. <laughs> no offense to anyone who likes this deck, I think yeah. I do have a patron who does really like this oh, deck. Oh, awkward, but... I feel bad now. No, I tried to play it, and this is one of those things, like, how? How do you like this? I don't understand. <laughs> It's so bad. Uh, but let's go into the seventh deck. The right. fighting seventh. <laughs> Alrighty then. Here we are in the seventh duel. Can you can you trill your tongue like that? <laughs> Arriba! Some yeah. people just don't have the ability to no, do that. No, they don't. It's really sad because it's weird. a really fun thing to do. Oh, hey. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Shimata. Shimata. Yeah, these are... So the, the set that these are coming out, out in... Um, it's called a deck building set. Oh, okay. Because it's basically like normal set will have like f four or five archetypes right. and then a bunch of generic cards. Deck building sets are like three archetypes, only those archetypes are in there. Oh, wow. So if you get like a box of it, you can build like three decks. Oh, okay. So Witchcraft is one of them. Yeah. Th this set, it came it, in it introduced uh, in Infinitrack, Witchcraft, and uh, something called Evil Eye. <laughs> 
which is creepy. I actually had a poll to ask people which one I should play, and this is the one that won. And I'm right. glad, because these are kind of boring. Oh. I don't really like them. A lot of people like the art, though, because it's a whole bunch of cute anime girls. Right. Which is, you know, waifu stuff is always a good bet. Yep, just waifu. I mean, in this one in particular, yeah. that, that's my style, with the big, huge, giant yeah. sword. That she could definitely and beat you with. Any girl who can wield a huge sword is, is okay in my book. Red hair doesn't hurt either. No, it does not. But, uh, yeah, their, their whole thing is uh, they've got, like, spells mm -hmm. that, that do stuff with witchcraft. And then at the end of the turn, if you didn't activate that spell with that name that turn, you add it to your hand. Ah. So it's like you activate it, um, and then, like, next turn you add it back to your hand. Okay. So they just in always recycle, and then they have a bunch of stuff that dumps oh. them into the graveyard, and she's like, if a spellcaster battles, you can reveal any number of spells in your hand with different names, and the monster you control gains a thousand for each revealed card. Oh, like defense? That's a thousand bad. attack and defense. Oh, that's not bad. So she's got three, so she could bump herself up to 5,800. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of uh, cool. Let's see. Once per turn, when your spellcaster monster destroys a monster by battle, destroy one card. So you could do witchcraft beatdown in a sense? Yeah. You could do witchcraft. It's like a control beatdown. It works with both. Yeah, they're, they're neat. I just, a lot of people don't really, a lot of people found them really underwhelming. Ah. Uh, but we finally got Toy Knight. Um, if uh, your opponent controls more monsters than you, special you summon it. It's just a way to get a monster on the field. Activate. And then you can tribute it for this, and then because it has no effect in the graveyard, we can just, like, banish. He's waiting, though. Search the thing. What are we waiting on? You got some sort of thing you're doing? I'm not liking this. Uh, you can discard a spell and negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls until the end of this turn. Awkward. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh. Whatever will I do? <laughs> However will I exist? I don't care. <laughs> but it's only the ones I currently control. So we're going to do this guy. Get this guy out here. Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Um, And this is 18. That's actually pretty good. Um, Oh, but no, my rank 5 wouldn't be able to get over her. Yeah. Um, so Wait, yeah. couldn't you rank 5 the dragon and get it? No, it can only absorb uh, attack position monsters. Ah, gotcha, 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 gotcha. So we're going to go to nine instead. Okay. And... Yeah, we're just going to blow everything up. Yeah, that oh, sounds wait. good. One second. First, actually, now that I think about it, what would be more useful... Um, Get rid of that. There okay. we go. Big train. Choo-choo. <laughs> um, there we train. go. Big train. Better to have an attack position monster than a defense position one. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we'll just destroy these because I can't go over it in battle, and we'll hit them for 4,000. That's quite a lot. Well, no, more than eh. 4,000. Oh, yeah, you're right. 4,100. But I mean, yeah. you know, you're splitting hairs over 100 attack. I am splitting hairs over 100 attack. And then, while I'm here, you know what? We'll just go ahead and put this out because it's a 3,000 feeder. Why didn't you do that before and attack with it? Because it, you can only attack with it if you send two cards. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, this guy seems really yeah. great. It's like a free 3,000 until what? you realize it can't attack, really. Or do anything. <laughs> yeah. It's just there to, like, stand in the way. <laughs> For a bullet train, it's 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 a little dangerous. It's not um, a very glass cannon-y. Fuck. You want to probably... I can't because he banished it as ah. cost. But these other ones have... No cards in your hand. Banish this from your graveyard. Target witchcraft in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. Um. Yeah, I forgot. I didn't know they had graveyard effects. Yeah. That seems to be a big thing in Yu-Gi-Oh now. Yeah, that that's how they're sort of like dealing with the power creep since uh. they don't have set rotation. It's just like everything gets more effects. Your stuff get like everything negates now. It's like, but it's fine because even if stuff gets negated, you could do other stuff. Target one witchcraft in your graveyard, special summon it. How about no? <laughs> Go away. Go away. We do not want you here in Uganda. <laughs> Wait, this can do... Uh, You can tribute this card, discard one spell, special summon a witchcraft from your deck, except herself. Okay. Yeah, they do all sorts of weird, crazy shit. That seems really cool. It's another, like another type one. I could get behind, actually. 
try them out. There, yeah. There's a, because they're spell casters mm. and they work with any spell in your hand. Right. Uh, you can actually combine them with a whole bunch of different people have tried like uh, spell book witchcraft, <sighs> dark magician witchcraft. Oh, interesting. Like, there's a whole bunch of different i uh, uh, possible thing. The possibilities are not endless, but there's like no. four of them. Oh, nice. <laughs> there's like four of them, which is cool. The possibilities are endless. Well, there's like four of them. <laughs> In Yu-Gi-Oh, that's practically endless. I mean, by the time you get through all four of those, you're going to be bored. You're going to be bored if there's like four new archetypes out. Yeah. The Evil Eye, they're all about equip cards. A, a, a equip card. They have one mm. card called the Evil Eye that's uh. like this weird eyepiece. Mm. And uh, like all their monsters like gain effects if it's on the field and then like a bonus effect if it's equipped to them. Oh, cool. And then they can like get it out of the graveyard by paying a thousand life points. Oof. A whole bunch of stuff searches it. So it, it's kind of neat, but at the same time it's like, it's like I don't want to... That's a lot wanna, of big costs. Uh, yeah. Pretty much anything with equip cards, it's like, I'm going to have to be managing all these things, and so I don't want to do 4, that. So I can get 4,000 now? Um, yeah, pretty much. Okay. Let um, me think about this. Uh, the first time witchcraft would be destroyed. So what we're going to do... Okay, check this. All right, Normal cool. summon. Right. So first of all, what we're going to do... Okay. Uh... We're going to make Cliff Hort Genius with these two. We're going to get rid of our big guy. Okay. Cliff Hort Genius can target two cards on the field, one on your side, one on your opponent's side. Negate both of them. Negate this guy so he can attack. Oh, shit. And then this is the first time a witchcraft would be destroyed by battle or card mm. effect. It is not. We negate that. Okay. Oh, snap. No, it's not. He might have responses, though. He might. I don't think he can act... I don't think any of their stuff is like hand traps. Mm. All she can do is activate her effect, but it's actually negated because I banished a copy of it with uh. the, the one. I mean, he's going to try, yeah. but it's not going to help. Oof. Oh, but he sent that, yeah, and okay. then... Because it's cost, and now things aren't negated. Yeah, okay. All right, no, that's fine. Um, Summon this out. This... Either way, it's gone. Yeah. That's the point. And then detach to blow your shit up. <laughs> Damn. Um. And that's game. Yeah. The attack with that. And then send these two to the graveyard to attack. To finish it off. Nice. Hey, we hey, finally... What nice. was it? A seventh duel? Yeah. That was the lucky fight in number yeah, seven. seven. We actually got a pretty good back and forth. I mean, he didn't manage to do any damage, but we had to think about our plays. Yeah. We had to make some choices, some things. It's pretty nice. It it's, kept me awake. It make it <laughs> worth it. Yeah, you're a big magic player. You're yeah. like, ah, oh, yeah. mana's not being turned. It's hard for me to stay awake. <laughs> not enough sideways cards in this game, in there's my opinion. There's not enough. It's like, there's too many upside-down cards. I don't like any of that. <laughs> I like my cards to be face-up like a man. Let's go into the eighth duel. <laughs> And here we are in the eighth duel, brought to you by Patreon sponsor Hobbsy. Just a nice little Hobbsy name. He, Hobbsy. He's, he's slowly becoming one of the more well-known people. And we're going up against Krolos the Kingsman. Oh. I guess there's not the. Maybe it's just Krolos Kingsman. But I think the the really adds some weight Krolos, to it. it does, but like, Krolos Kingsman sounds like a noble name of yore. What, what? He did? Oh, yes, Brandy. Um, hmm. Not a great so, hand. He doesn't control any monsters, yeah. so I can't special summon Toy Knight, and I don't uh. have any of the good things to do stuff, but it's fine. I can still normal summon this, and what we're going to do is just, like, activate that, get it in the graveyard. Activate that, get it in the graveyard. Activate this, fill up the graveyard <laughs> with stuff. Fill, fill, fill up the graveyard, yeah. Fill Banish the him. Get this. I can't use it, but I got it. <laughs> but I got it. Um, which is cool. And then, I don't know, a thousand attack is better than 500 defense. And a train! <laughs> and a train. <laughs> choo choo. Choo choo, motherfucker. He can't attack. I mean, I could attack by sending all the things I just searched to the graveyard, yeah. but I don't want to do that. Um, oh, I could summon one, but I'm good. Yeah. Not the greatest thing, but we'll just, we'll just hit him with 1,000. 
We'll let him know we're here. We'll give, <laughs> give him, him an old that. test tap, see where he's at. We'll give him the old thousand attack point tickle and hope he can't <laughs> OTK us. I mean, he couldn't do anything first turn, but yeah. maybe that's because he like a go second OTK deck. Which is a weird OTK. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh. <laughs> oh, but... <laughs> what? So, for hire is basically... Oh, yeah. They all have a, an effect like special summon another for hire from your hand. Yeah. The fact that he didn't means he just has the one, oh. which means I don't know what the rest of those are, but he's in a bad way. <laughs> he's in a bad spot. So, okay. He's in a bad spot, Kimasabi. Activate this, send that. Hello, my name is Chainsaw. <laughs> I How <will>. are you? <laughs> Would you like to live with me in Chainsaw? No, I don't blame you. We'll banish other Chainsaw <laughs> to summon, I don't know, Roadheader? Roadheader. I could summon Cancer Crane too. It doesn't matter. The point is, they're two level fives. Yeah, which means we can get out the boy. I actually want to get out this. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Because I have no comeback plays. Don't negate that. Okay, good. Send the chainsaw. I can only use one chainsaw right. per turn, so I can't like detach and then. Oh, uh, what does that oh, do? Oh, it just negates my effect. Okay, what does what does effect do? But his effect was uh, search. Oh, okay, okay. So I was gonna get like one of the level two, so that oh, I can, okay. like, next turn I can search and do all sorts of stuff. Right. So as it stands, it sucks, but it's fine. I can just rank this up, make it go into the level seven, which we hardly ever get to. Choo choo. <laughs> choo choo. He summoned from the extra deck. He gets it back. Oh, interesting. Oh, no. Um, let's see. Detach this one. Gain a thousand attack. Right. That's all he does. He's just big attack boy. Right. He's just thicken. But he has the same effect that all the other ones, where it's like, om nom nom nom. Om nom nom I just gobble everything up. And he has that, but he can't target me because of right. this. Which is nice. Yeah. I could turn it into that, but I don't know why I would. When you could just hit him for another 3,100. Yeah. Another, well, next turn will be 4,100. Ooh, spicy. So this was in the graveyard. What am I going to send back to my hand? I guess... Cancer Crane? Cancer Crane. I might be able to do something with it. I don't know. Okay. Well, I, haven't, I haven't used it yet, but Roadheader uh, does have an effect as well. It's mm. in the graveyard. But his is uh, Banish It. Shuffle five. Uh, what did he just do? Uh, instant fusion. Oh, okay. It's delicious. This thing can, like, target a monster and equip it to it, but uh, he can't but, target oh, things. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. He didn't read. He's got to make sure he reads. Very yeah, important. okay. That's why I do bad in this game. I don't read very well. <laughs> He's just going to make Link Karibo. This stall. Stall for days. Hope that he can stall for days. Or he might use it as, like, material, but I think he could have done something better. But, yeah, uh, what was that? Oh, yeah. Anyway, so, Roadheader. Yeah. Uh, banish it, get five Earth Machines, shuffle them back into your deck, draw two cards. Nice. So, he resets things. So, on, like, the one hand, yeah, it, it got, like, it, I got this back to my hand, maybe I can do something. On the other mm. hand, if I'd kept it in there, uh, then next turn I could have detached from this, drawn two, because I would have been able to uh, shuffle okay. all this stuff back. And that's how you can also get away with, like, I only play one of these. I only play one of these. I only play one of the guy on the sleeve. But that's because we play three of the road header that can just put everything back. <laughs> this is going to sound really silly to people who are playing it, like, a month from now. Yeah. And they're like, why is he calling, like, Big Drill road yeah, header? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't he know it's called Big Drill? <laughs> um. So let's do this. Okay. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Let's let's have a party. Um, you yes, yes. That'll, that'll be good for next turn again. Okay, cool. Okay, so what we're gonna straight up do is just make this guy again. Okay, you can have that back. Right. Hopefully he has no way to get it out. Right. Uh, we still got the chainsaw. Right. Chainsaw gets Roadheader. Right. You remember him. He has the hilarious name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Cool. It's pretty great. And then, oh, you're going to make a boy. I'm going to make a big boy. Yeah, you're going to make Biggest a... boy. Boy out of ten. Thick boy. I don't have the other one, but I, I don't have... I use my one level seven, yeah. but that's fine. I've got this. Big eye. Biggest big eye. eye. Biggest, biggest eye. eye of all. What does big eye do? Oh. He steals your dudes. Um, oh. 
In this case, he has 1,300 attack and <laughs> does nothing because his chainsaw got broken off. Right. But that's fine. Basically, the only reason I wanted to make that was so I could, like, then I can send that. Bring this guy out. Equip this. Hey, how's it going? Then, rank him up into the guy I really want. <laughs> You, congratulations, you played yourself. Congratulations. You won't get punched in the face. For game. Is that game? Yeah. Well, no. Not quite. For oh, hire. Uh, target one for hire in your graveyard. Special summon in defense position. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Damn. What? what for hire in your graveyard, <laughs> sir? <laughs> I am curious as to what made you think you could activate such a card. <laughs> Damn. I'm glad he can't hear me. I would never say yeah. that to someone in real life, but talking to Krolos. Now, Krolos can take it. He's a man. You go around with a name like Krolos Kingsman, Kingsman, you yeah. better be able to take a little bit of insults. Right, now, Krolos. if this was like little Danny the nine-year-old who little just learned Danny to play. Little Danny Caulfield who yeah. just learned to play. <laughs> He's like, I want to be like my big brother. He's got cancer. Don't make fun of him. Don't make fun of that kid. Danny doesn't deserve it. Yeah. Kingsman deserves it. Kingsman does Maybe deserve no it. one deserves it. Comment. You know what? Let's just go on. This is getting weird. <laughs> Night <Nice> duel. <laughs> I've been reading um the, 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 the Wheel of Time lately? Yeah, you, you, yeah. you we talked about it a and little there's, bit last there, time. There's a, a character in it who's a gleeman, they called him. Oh, basically like a storyteller, right. like jester, bard kind of guy. Right. And uh, he, he's trying to teach the characters, like, skills, and then he, he ends up having to leave, and they have to, like, pay their way through this whole trip by, like, we're not gleeman, but we can kind of do things. Yeah. The one guy's like, I can play the flute moderately well. <laughs> and the other guy can juggle, like, really, really well. Like, eight balls, like right. a figure eight. Interesting. Um, And it just made me like, man, next time I play a bard, I want to be able to inspire with juggle instead of, like, perform. Yes. <laughs> I want to just, like... Yeah, I'll take a hit to whatever skill I need to, but I want to have, like, epic level juggling ability. <laughs> Basically, juggling would be your performance. You just, like, flavor it instead of dance. You just do juggling. And juggling, and then have, like, throwing knives yeah. as my weapon so I can <laughs> juggle in combat. See, that would actually be really interesting. Because you would have to lose a knife to attack, but you'd still be juggling. <laughs> you'd have to lose a knife, so that way your juggle inspire count goes down one. Yeah. I could, I could I work start with that. juggling ten knives yeah. and it's super impressive. <laughs> yeah. But every time I throw one, people get their oh, they get less hit down. Yeah, they get less hit down. Oh man, that's cool. It goes down by one D. They get they get less. Yeah. Oh man. And somehow I have to end up having to defeat the big bad yeah. via juggling. <laughs> via ju <laughs> the orb of wisdom. He can't get it if I'm juggling him with eight other things. <laughs> Come on, grab it from me, I dare you. The wizard's you. trying to mage hand it over to the evil <laughs> wizard, and he's like, I can't focus on it, it's moving too fast. <laughs> the man juggles like lightning. <laughs> Arc. He is the chosen juggler. <laughs> All right, here we are, the ninth duel, uh, which is not brought to you, but I only brought bring you the, the even duels. The odd duels are mine alone. Or I guess they're brought to you by Bootleg Drew. Hey, my yeah, friend, I, who decided I'm happy to, to bring it to you. Oh, no, he's doing things oh, with dark things. danger. Danger, Bigfoot! <laughs> he's big and hairy, you gotta watch out. And Chupacabra! <laughs> danger Snake! That's right, I forgot the danger archetype. Yeah. I want... I was, I was explaining that to you. So it's like, danger Snake! <laughs> if this is discarded, summon it. Yeah, I was... Because, again, you're, you're a big magic yeah, player. Yeah. Danger Jackalope. Oh. Aha, I got his Jackalope. So all the dangers, if you don't pick them, they summon, they yeah. draw a card. Right. If you do pick them, they have effects when they're discarded. Right. So he gets another snake. Snake. Danger Chupacabra. I discard this. So they play them with dark worlds, and then the dark worlds, when they're discarded, summon themselves. Oh, he's stormed, man. Reveal this card in your hand. Randomly special summon everything. <laughs> Swarm. Swarm. Swarm the, the dorm, field? dorm, yeah. Oof. Good luck. Unless your opponent happens to, like, pick... I think someone was saying is, like, it's so weird that you're playing this. Like, it's the best deck, but at the same time, if they happen to pick, like, the three that you, like, reveal, yeah. then your turn just ends. <laughs> like, half the time. Especially because, uh, like, Jackalope is a great one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, they're doing stuff, though. 
He's just Link summoning to get stuff off the field so he can make room for more things. <laughs> Why? He already made so many things. Summon Sorceress. Oh. If she points to a thing, you can summon another thing from the deck that has the same type and attribute. Oh. But its effects are negated. Oh. But that's fine, because it's Link 3, and now you got 4, and then you got 2 more, so you can just Link spam. Yep. Danger, Dark World. Such a great, like, archetype name. Danger, Just in the Dark fact that World. it's Dane, because it, anything is like... Danger! Bigfoot! Danger! This! Danger! That! <laughs> mm. Ooh, I get to discard a card. Hmm, I think I'll put the thing in the graveyard that has effects in the graveyard. <laughs> oh, no. Cerule. When this is discarded... Um... He's... I... I'm losing track of what's going on, man. Yeah, when this is discarded, it summons to your opponent's field. And then when it's summoned to my field, its effect is discard a card from your opponent's hand. Uh, and all the dark worlds are like, if discarded, do this. If uh, discarded by your opponent, also do this. Ah. Uh, so this is this weird way of, like, making your opponent make you discard things. Oh. It's really trollsy, but it happens to work. It also looks like he's about to beat you. Uh, I'm not hard. sure if he can extra link with this. He I, might be able to. I think to. he can just beat you with flat out damage. No, if he it's first turn he can't attack. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, we're good. It's the same. Danger, Nessie. Danger, Nessie! Nightmare Corruptor, Ibli, oh no. Oh, you think you're so tough with your Nessie, <laughs> do you? <laughs> Coming all around here with your eyes full of eyeballs. <laughs> Looking at me, Marm, like she's some corn to fluke. <laughs> If you could say beer can with a British accent, you're saying bacon with a Jamaican accent. Wait, what? Say beer can with a British accent. Beer can. <laughs> saying bacon with a Beer Jamaican. can. Oh my god! <laughs> it's crazy, man! <laughs> this is the kind of stuff you have to do to entertain yourself while your opponent takes long combo turns. I, I thought his hand was empty, and now he has three more dangers. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> yeah, danger dark roads can be a little silly. And then this is like, if it's discarded, this is, search. This is basically what it's like to be, like, a gruel player, what I am, versus, like, a uh, an aggro player, I should say, against a combo player in Magic. It's just, they give me a coloring book, I color for a little <laughs> bit, and then ask, hey, am I dead yet? And they go, no, nah, I have five more turns. And I go, cool. And I keep coloring. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's like, you bring, you bring Yu-Gi-Oh along, and you start playing YGO Pro while yeah. you're waiting for their turn to finish in Magic. <laughs> Don't give me a moment, I'm going to play Hearthstone while you're playing. <laughs> Just have, like, two two cell phones, yeah. and you have different apps open yeah. in the one. Oh, I'm waiting for my real opponent to finish Magic, I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And while I'm waiting for my opponent in Yu-Gi-Oh!, Yu -Oh, I'm playing Hearthstone. <laughs> and eventually, one of them will tend their turn. One of the three. Yep, if he extra links me, I'm going to be sad. What's so extra link? Oh, okay. the winning through linking. Right, right, right. It's not a win through link, uh, but it, it almost is. It's You see how they got arrow pointing down, yeah. arrow pointing so up. So if you make a U here, what happens? If you make a U, you can take the other extra monsters. Oh. Out. But it has to be a U of like, they. It, it's not just pointing, they have to point back to each other. Oh, ah, okay. It's called co-link when they're both. Like, oh, he's co-linking though. Um, well, that doesn't, like this goes <laughs> right and left, oh, Okay. but this one doesn't, so okay. that's not a co-link. Okay. What is he doing? I the stuff. Stop! Just stuff kill him! And things, you know, draw more cards. Oh my god. I wonder if he plays the beginning of the end. What is that? Banish five dark monsters from your graveyard, draw three cards. It's It's been in the game forever, but it's like, yeah, when are you going to have five dark monsters with different names <laughs> in your graveyard? It's like, well, now... See, this guy goes left and okay. right. So now I'm in... I'm in danger. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this That's, is bad. <laughs> oh my god! He's got too. four cards left. Uh, huh? No. Danger, Nessie. Danger, yeah. Phoenix. What is so, that danger one? What's um, that danger one? That's if it's danger, Thunderbird. <laughs> Thunderbird. <laughs> got Thunderbird and Bigfoot and That's Unicorn <laughs> and Griffin and Cerberus and Mermaids. Yeah. It's just all sorts of rare creatures. This is amazing. These, these are not dangers, though. Right, I know, but these, this, I kind of want to play dangers. Danger, Dark World. What? Don't negate <laughs> things. 
You're supposed to just you okay. Oh, well, in phase. He couldn't link. Make him draw three. <laughs> Make him draw three and I wish win. I could. If he had extra, the thing is, this thing summons to your yeah. opponent's turn. Mm-hmm. It says your opponent can't special summon except by linking. Okay. So if they get this on your side of the field and then and link, you link you, oh, okay. you're 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 doomed. Okay. But he didn't, and I have a generic just for such an occasion. Hello, Underclock Taker. You <laughs> Underclock. are my friend. <laughs> you are my friend. <laughs> Jesus. Um, How are you going to get out of this jam? You need, like, a regeki or urgent something. Urgent schedule. Um, this says, uh, what was it? Co-linked monsters cannot be destroyed by card effects. Oh. <laughs> so oh. I can't... Um, oh, but I could do the thing. You could uh, do the thing? First, let's... This and... One of these, because I don't have them yet. Okay. Put that over there. Um. Let's see. What does this do? When your opponent monster activate its its effect. Okay. So that's what I need to be wary of. But I think I'm good. Um, All right. Show me what you're doing. So tribute this off. Mm-hmm. I need to bait this out first. Okay. So I need to activate something. Okay. That he's gonna be like, I'm not. I don't want to deal with that. Right. Once I do that, then I'm set. Okay. Um. So let's go ahead and... Clifford? Okay. Yeah, Clifford Genius with... Oh, this is not a machine. That might be a problem. Um. Fudge. Did we just fuck ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> not entirely. Okay. I still get a search. Harvester. Show me the money. M- 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 money shot. Is he gonna... Okay, so let's say... Give me one of these. Okay. And then I can... That's what I wanted to do, is get this into the graveyard. I've got all the plays. Best hand. A million out of ten. Twenty out of a hundred. What could he possibly be doing? He can negate any monster effect with this. He's trying to decide whether or not he should negate things. Hey, hey how's it going? <sighs> nice to meet you. My name is a blue blue. Uh, okay. Can I not activate my effect? Did I already activate? Uh, let's see. Discard one card. Special summon monsters on the field cannot affect unless they're linked. Unless they are linked. Okay. Wow. That's that's a bit of a that's a bit of a difficulty. Um. I think he might have us. He might. Okay. He negated it. What was I going to do again? (laughs) (laughs) Fuck, I forgot. Okay. No, it's fine. Special summon this. Right here. It's linked. So I can activate... Yeah. In defense mode. Why did I not remember that? Okay. It's fine. It's still fine. Um... Do I have a level 11? I do, but I don't want it. I want a level 9? Yeah, I'll do the 9. I can do this. Breathe deep. Spanish galleons. Just think of it. Um. Just <laughs> think of the glory. Think of the glory. All glory to the Hypnotoad. All right. Do this. Um, let's go ahead. I can't destroy his monsters with it, but I can get rid of this. It's only co-linked monsters, right? Right, yeah. Yeah, let's get rid of that, too. No more fields, no more other things. I'm almost out of time. Fuck it.
We're just going to attack. Uh, I wouldn't recommend. All right. Um, and let's get rid of this guy because he's the one who's stopping us from doing things. Ouchie, ouch. And then let's eat it up. Om nom nom. All right, and. Yep, that's all I can do. Alright. Not the greatest thing. I still have two zero attack points, but unless he can attack for 4,000 into those. Well, never mind. Unless he can kill me this turn, he's he, dead. Yeah. Because, uh, is it this guy? Yeah. It's during your draw phase, draw one card for each different named co linked monster you have. So he had to draw two. If he, you hadn't destroyed that, I think he would have died then. Yeah. That's why I was like, I don't want to destroy that. <laughs> No, no, I, I mean, if you hadn't destroyed Cerberus, you would have just died next turn anyway. Because um, they would have been co-linked, right? Possibly? That's yeah. a good question. Because then Comment he would have drawn four. I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess he might have yeah. been forced to do that. Shit. But will that force him to draw a card? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, that was, um... Do I even, what do I do with that? We won. All right, cool. He played himself. He played himself. <laughs> he drew too many cards and couldn't do anything. It's, he comboed too much without having the backup of comboing he too much. He comboed too much, yeah. What I really wanted to do was make the seven sins, but I needed to uh, activate this. Yeah. And I couldn't get rid of this, yes, and I yeah. needed other... Yeah. I needed to bait out You stuff. still managed to I win. I still <laughs> managed to win, but it would have been better if yeah. I, like... Make the seven sins, banish all special summoned monsters. Yeah. Be like, fuck your field. <laughs> oh, I almost threw up in my mouth a little bit. Ew, gross. All right, that's what I get about right, thinking about duel. fucking fields. Last duel. Doing pretty good. Let's see if we can keep up the pretty good doings. <laughs> and here we are, the final duel, brought to you by Patreon sponsor, Skilled Summoner. He is... The most skilled summoner of all the patrons. Ooh. Unless his name is a lie. But would people really do that? Just go on the internet and lie? Oh. Would they? I think again. so, yeah. But I got a dark hole this time. <laughs> so we're good. <laughs> so we're good. I can blow up and the a twin twister. Yep, just the oldest, most basic cards. Yeah. Like, one sentence. <laughs> Destroy all the things. <laughs> Get rid of them. Get them out of here. Yep, um, Twin Twisters. In case he has spell traps. I don't think they usually don't play spell traps. This is a very monster-focused deck. We'll see. He can shut... That's the. He's got that card. Necrol's on them by themselves. They have that yeah. card that's like, extra deck monsters can't activate their effects. Mm. But I can still make a big honk and tonka truck. And big honk and tonka truck. As long as he doesn't also make that thing that says no summon anything, please. Right. <laughs> but even if he does, I still have Dark Hole. I'm yeah. good. We're not losing to Necros again. It's not 2014 anymore. Oof. This is the year of our Egypt. This is the year of Ra, 2019. 2019, the year of our god Ra. <laughs> Ray, the sun god. <laughs> Ray, he's a pretty cool dude. Yeah, we yeah. played cards with him last week. Yeah, he got a big fire chariot. Yeah. He's, he's nice. He's a nice guy. Yeah, so there you go. He ended on that... Doing a thing. Uh, fuck you. Fuck you. Destroy it anyway. It feels like a lot for destroying that one guy. I should have activated that first. Well. What? Oh, yeah. That thing that required. Yeah, I was I so think... happy about fuck you die that I yeah. forgot. <laughs> Am I gonna lose? <laughs> per snaps? Per snaps? Um. Let's just get a chainsaw. We're getting the chainsaw because it has 2400. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do, tag this out for Goliath, the least aptly named. By the way, they do have another Link monster that is uh, much more powerful than this, yeah. but its summoning conditions is, like, ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's a Link 3 that can only be made with three Ixie monsters. Oh, that's pretty rough. Yeah, but if you get it out, it's like, you, you just win. You yeah. just win. That's how it happens. Huh. I'm going to set all these things... Your move, holy yeah. man. <laughs> it's not, what was it? I believe it's, uh, like, once per turn, you can send a monster your opponent controls to the graveyard, then summon an Ixie from your graveyard and attach that monster you sent 
to it as material. Oh. So it's just like non-targeting removal that gets back one of the Ixies you just uses and also gives it material to attack with. Jesus. And it's like 3,400. It's like a big, it's the biggest honkin' tonkin' and truck that you've ever seen. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, if you've got three Ixie monsters, you've already won. You don't yeah. need to make that at that yeah. point. Um, Necroz Mir, ah, ritual summon. What's he ne Necroz mirroring though? I don't know. The Necroz are really cool, though. I'm not sure if I've ever pointed these out to you. Yeah, they're all boss Trishola. monsters. They're all boss monsters that they're using the skin of to make armor, right? Yeah. So it's like Trishula, but in monstery form. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's sad. Goodbye, what? hand. Why? Oh. He banishes one card each from your hand field or graveyard. Mm. Hand field and graveyard. Oh. He gets rid of three cards. I forgot he had that. <laughs> Otherwise, Oof. I would have played that card on my field and just... Because he can't activate it unless you have a card in each gotcha. place. Gotcha. It's okay. I'm just a little goofed. I'm just a little goof goof baggled. Goof baggled. We've all been goof baggled from time to time. I Comment know, in the comments. I've been goof baggled. You know, everyone they go down to the lake Thursday afternoon, get a drink, get a little <laughs> goof, goof baggled. baggled. All right, you know, are we still in this or we're what? We're still in this because well, we got urgent schedule. Oh, okay. Anytime you've got this, you're set. Hand trap. But it's fine, because we've got the thing that stops hand traps. Bam. Negated. <laughs> Goes off. <laughs> um, let us get... Chainsaw? Uh, we already have a chainsaw in the grave. Okay. Let's get... Roadheader? Chainsaw? <laughs> chainsaw? Chainsaw again? <laughs> hmm? Ah? Hmm. Or cancer crane. And... Yeah, let's get a crane. Chugga chugga. Choo choo. <laughs> No, I don't want to activate that effect. It's negated. Can't you see the spooked looking thing? Alright. Now we get Cancer Crane. Whole mess of cancer coming your way. Ouch. Get it while it's hot? Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't I guess I, don't, I think so. I I don't think I want to get it. At I all. wouldn't know. Um yeah, we'll banish. Why not? Give me. I want it. I want it. I want it now. And I want it fast. Oh. There cool. we go. Um, level seven. The both of yous. Um, this guy. The both of yous. It's pretty nice, but it could stand to be bigger. Biggest. Uh. Yeah. Or... He doesn't have a lot of stuff to destroy. I think he might be able to stop some. Let's, let's do this one. Because I can still, like, detach, go away. I don't like you. And then... I thought I had a chainsaw. Did he get rid... Yeah, he got rid of your chainsaw. Oh, I thought he banished this. Uh, and... uh, oh, no, my chainsaw was on the field! Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oof. It's okay. I'm just a little dumb. I'm just like... Yes. You know, twelve percent dumb, right? Like not legally dumb, but like, like dumb enough. If the police came with the papers, I'd be able to prove that I wasn't <laughs> dumb. But <laughs> but he's got to. You know, gonna... it it wouldn't be easy. No. I have to. You'd it have would to, take a little it bit. It might effort. be a little bit of a court battle. Yeah. Like there's a chance that like if I'm a little tired or sleepy or whatever, they could be like, I don't know, Jim. He seems pretty <laughs> dumb to me. I'm yeah, just sweating. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh like would a smart person be sweating that much I don't know it seems risky there's some sort of like weird alternate universe where Nazi Germany is in America but they, they hate the, uh, the dumb, dumb people, people instead of instead of racial people even though I mean isn't it kind of dumb to hate people for being dumb that's how they defeat them. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, ah, but, but, sir, isn't it dumb to do the thing you're doing? And he's and like, then he, has to, he has to take himself out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he can't handle it. Oh, hey, it's a crane. It's a crane. Cool. Cool. I remember that guy. He was pretty cool. He's a one chugga, smooth chugga, guy. Choo choo. So, oh, what? I don't have any more. They're all in the graveyard. Oh. What do we do? He banished the other one. No, uh, did he? No. Oh. oh. 
It's attached. Okay. I don't care if it's negated. I'm going to try to activate it anyway. That didn't help me. I was hoping I would have five. One, two, three. No, I don't have nearly enough. Well... Attack? Oh, okay. Now I could I could have activated. Yeah, it I go to, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's well. getting late. Oh, he only has seven hundred. Yeah, what are the chances that he could do a miraculous comeback at this point? Am I right? Looks nervously at camera. <laughs> Looks nervously at camera. Realizes camera hasn't been on for the last four years. <laughs> oh shit! I forgot to put face cam. No wonder this show isn't popular. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that that brought me much joy. These are the mistakes that get made when you're mm. a little dumb. When you're twelve percent dumb. dumb. <laughs> oh, I need to make that 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 could go on shirts. Twelve percent dumb. dumb. I think that's gonna be my newest. That's my new slogan. That's your new slogan. <laughs> Welcome like, to Hard Leg Gaming. Twelve percent dumb. Twenty percent skill. Thirty percent concentrated power, power of will. will. Yep. All right. You won. And what are we, 80% one? Yeah, 80%, 80 one. 80 percent one, 12 percent dumb, 100 percent chance to remember the name. Let's go to the end <laughs> screen. So, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen, Infinitrack Tool Bag. We went eight and two. Very good showing. Probably a little better than this deck deserves, but we we did pretty good. We got to show off a lot of the things we had. And we had some pretty good fun. Dude it was like fun. Drew, I enjoyed having you on here. Thank Thanks you, Thanks in the comments. Let, let, let them know what you thought of Bootleg Drew, if you'd like to see him on again. I assume you would. I don't know why you wouldn't. What, are you dumb? Are you more than 12% dumb? That's a lot of dumb. If, you, if you're getting to like 19, 30% dumb, I'm, we might be starting to have a problem. We anyway, rambled a little bit. <laughs> we rambled a little bit. <laughs> anyway, next time we're going to be playing a deck I've played before, either Metaphys or Abyss Actors. Because, you know, that's the great thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! Sometimes you play big machines, sometimes you play actors. Sometimes it's you just, play actors. They're just all over the from place. From the abyss. From the abyss. So, anyway, until then, good luck. Have fun. You got it.